and a big old lake down there. But uh, yeah, Henderson would uh, Henderson Rucker would come up to my house uh, early mornings and knock on the door and, and say, Joe, get up, Joe. That was my name. Joe, wake up, Joe. But uh, my little brother would wake me up because I was asleep. And uh, I would have to get in the truck and we'd go up to the red top and we would uh, eat some breakfast. And then after that, we would uh, go down, back down to the farm and uh, he would say, Joe, bring him in. And I would put on my big old black boots and a rubber suit. He went to the barnyard and bring all those cows in there and a knuckle. And uh, yeah, he had about six knuckles in there and we had to uh, put those uh, kickers on the, on the cows to keep them from kicking you because those cows would then go to the milk and let, you know, early in the morning like that. So, and then after that, we had to, uh, 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 sometimes we had to throw away the milk because the cows had to eat the, uh, uh, the onion, the onion plants out there in the pasture. And uh, that was a thing to do. We had to put the, uh, the Harrison was throw, throw away thousands of gallons of milk just pour it out on the ground because the the, the, the milk company wouldn't take the milk because it smelled like onions and everything. We, we always had to go out there and uh, kill all the weeds out there in the, in the pasture so that uh, they wouldn't get into the milk. So that was one thing One thing I did up there was that. And uh, he had an automatic feeder that would take the feed from the barnyard into the trough so the cows could eat out so they'd stand still while we were uh, milking those cows. He had, all, he, had about, he had about 150 type cattle up there. He had the Black Angus, he had the Jersey, he had the Guernsey, he had Brown Swiss, he, he had Hosting. He had all these kind of cows up there, about 150 of them, and I had to go out there and milk them every morning. And then in the afternoon, I had to go, I had to go back and milk them again. And uh, let's see, then uh, Henson would, uh, before he get started, he would take out his small little paint of, uh, he would have some mint vodka. That was his favorite. He would drink some little mint vodka in that. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I didn't want to drink none of that stuff, but he always had it in his back pocket. And he, he would work all day long. <laughs> and then sometimes we had to, uh, we had to uh, dehorn the cattle because they would get into fights and he didn't want to end the cattle injuring each other. So we had to go in there. I had, I had to go in there behind the cattle. He had to big old shears. He had to cut the horns off the cattle and so they wouldn't hurt each other. So that some, of, some of this cattle would give them a lot of milk. Uh, down, down down at the lake down there, uh, we, 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 we would swim down there in that lake in the off time. My brother, Alvin, David Wiley. Y'all you know David Wiley? There he is right there. We used to swim in that, in that lake down here by Henderson Barn. And uh, it was for Alvin Buffington. He was there with us. And uh, also, we, up there at the Scales Farm, we had to go up there and bail that hay. At one time, we were bailing that hay, we, run up, we, we ran up a, bu a bumblebee hole, and I had to, we had to jump off that truck. And those bumblebees were swarming all over the place. Um, and uh, Miss, uh, the late Miss uh, uh, William Moon, the William Moon used to live here. He used to go down to the, the, the lake down here and catch bull, uh, bullfrogs. Him and Alvin Buffton, they used to catch uh, bullfrogs down there at the lake. David, were you with them too? They used to catch some bullfrogs down there. And uh, let me see. And then midsummer, Henderson would uh, get on his tractor, and, and he would get on the tractor, and we'd go up there at the Roy Cordell barn, and we'd load that feed up with uh, manure, and we'd bring that, we'll bring that uh, feeder back down to, to the field. And he spread all that uh, manure all over the all over the pasture, so that grass would grow. Some cows have to bring some milk. So that's what we used to do there in the summertime. My cousin, my, my cousin James McLaughlin, he passed now, but Henderson uh, said he could throw a, a bale of hay to the top of that doggone barn. I I, <laughs> I could never see it, but James was pretty strong. But he, I never saw him throw a bale of hay to the top of that barn. But Henderson, <laughs> Henderson, he could take a bale of hay and throw it to the top of that barn. Let me see. And then, and then, uh, as time went on, Henderson wanted to sell his. Uh, he, went, he sold his farmyard, and my job was to bring the cattle out there into the area, a staging area, so people could bid him. I ain't never seen nobody talk that fast in my life. I didn't know what that man was saying. I don't know what he was saying. Then somebody threw up the hand. 
I had to bring another cow in there, and, and they would, uh, they would, they would, uh, you know, sell it, you know. And uh, and after that, after, after he sold his farm, uh, he had to go to work up here. He, he used to work right up at the uh, Marsh's store as a meat cutter, all right? And then, and then he moved, after that, he went to, uh, he moved to Commerce. He went to work in Commerce, Georgia, as a, as a meat cutter too, and I should ride with him down there. He got me a job out there, we closed, closed down the, the dairy farm. We worked in the thrift, thrift, uh, thrift, Willis Thrift Way down in Commerce, Georgia. And he was a meat cutter down there. And after, in the afternoon, after cutting the meat, we would load up the car with, uh, meat scraps right and uh he said we're gonna take these meat scraps somewhere i i was in the back seat he said just roll down the one and throw the meat scraps out <laughs> throw the meat scraps out <laughs> but we he knew somebody down there right and this man had about i guess he had about four big old german shepherd dogs in the in the in the, in the barnyard I mean, in, his, in, in his in his area i don't know who the man was but he said he said don't just let down the one don't let it down just throw the meat out I, I let the runner down, I started throwing throw the meat out, and them dogs just like wild animals, eating that meat. I said, golly, why, oh, I'm not getting out of this car. You know, and, and every, every other day we would just go down through there. I don't know who the man was, but Henson knew him, and he just, we just throw meat scraps out the window. And that was something else to see. So that was, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, one time he did come up to our house and help us kill. He helped us kill. Uh, he was since he was a meat cutter. He cut up the meat when we killed hog that was a cow or whatever it was. And he used to wear this white apron, you know. <laughs> and you know, that was my fun times I had over there. I don't know what that, that lake until over there was a uh, uh, a lake over there. Like I said, we used to swim in it. Even the Harold Williams, Valerie Williams' brother, just swim with us over there. All right. And that was it. That, that we, we got we got tired of swimming at that lake coast and they opened up the park Green 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 Street, Green Street Park. Yeah. yeah, we went on there and started swimming then. And I appreciate y'all attention and that's some of the stories of my life up here in Louisville, Georgia, born and raised here. And uh, right, and, uh I got a booth right over here there, right right there in front of me, right there. I got some things on sale right there, so come by and check me out. And uh, I got some kites, I got some uh Golden ball holders, I got some, uh, t-shirt, yeah, I got a t-shirt right there. Brother Peach, you got a t-shirt, Alvin Buffett got a t-shirt right over there. And, uh, that's it. Whoever got a story, come up next. Mr. Grill, here you go. All right. <laughs> Alvin. Alvin. Alvin Buffington. Alvin Buff, uh, Miss Jenny, Miss Jenny Wilburn would, uh, would take those bull frogs home and she would cook them, all right? She would cook them, all right? Well, they think bull frog legs is good. I mean, it tastes like chicken, you know? And if they fried right, yeah, we would take, uh, and then one more thing.